we're leaving. At last. At last. So our lap really officially begins now. Really? We've got the new van hooked on. I just worry that like the handbrake's gonna fail or something. It's insured. I'm gonna have to go back up and I am not fit. <laughs> and there was no sign to say, by the way, you should have like a moderate level of fitness to do this. We had 40k winds and torrential rain and um, and then Dion was laying on the bed and he started getting dripped on and the water is leaking through the seal around the caravan. Yep. We're leaving. At last. At last. So our lap really officially begins now. Really? We've got the new van hooked on taking off. Uh, we've been here for three, maybe four months, yeah, four months. Uh, which is way longer than we thought we'd be back for. Uh, so big, big thanks to our beautiful friends at Chateau Riverside for letting us stay all that time. Really did us a solid there. We're on our way to one of my friends from high school. She lives about two hours from where we are, so we're going to drive down there and stay there the night. And then I don't know where we're going after that. We've not nah. planned anything, so we'll be okay. looking at maps at some point tonight to figure out where we go tomorrow. Half the reason we didn't bother planning was the floods that are happening. Yeah. We don't know what is open or where we can get to. We've got three weeks to get to Sydney for Christmas to see my family. And then we'll head down um, early January, I'd say, to Melbourne to see Dion's family. And then on to South Australia. Yep. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Stick around and let's get Bye. going. What do you want to say? So, um, we're going to Annie and Maggie's and what baby are you going to see? Charlie and Hunter. Charlie and Hunter. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, we left our friend's house today and we just drove to Byron because we... We have no plans. No. Well, I've never been to Byron, so, and Dion's been here, but not explored. He came here for his bucks for the weekend, drunk, and then came home, didn't actually do anything here. No, I think the main thing we did was play lawn bowls. <laughs> it was a roaring bucks, apparently. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we've come up to the lighthouse. So they've got daylight savings down here. So I work for a company in Queensland, so they're on Queensland time. So when I finished at five, it was only four here. So we've got some time to kill. And we've just come up to the lighthouse. We just kind of just drove and okay. ended up here. Uh, in Byron, you have to pay for parking everywhere. And then we'll come in up the road to the lighthouse. And as Dion drove past this sign, I noticed it was like you needed to pay to get to the lighthouse. Anyway, it was $8 to park up to go have a look. So anyway, the... The ranger was onto it. He was waiting at the top of that hill to get your money. <laughs> so they're, they're onto it. But um, we'll go check it out. Have a look at where we're parked. This makes me so nervous. This is, yeah, look at that. I don't love that. I just worry that like the handbrake's gonna fail or something. It's insured. As long as we're not in it, I don't mind. That's a thing with heights. Look, I was in a car once parked like this and the driver was out talking to someone and the handbrake failed and we went like, down we the went hill. down the hill. So I got PTSD, I think. <laughs> anyway, let's go check this lighthouse out. Yeah. Um, um, oh, we're in the Northern Rivers region. There you go. <laughs> Northern Rivers. I've been trying to research New South Wales and we don't know where any of the regions are so that's been interesting. You've got no idea where anything is. No. <laughs> anyway. Let's go 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 go. Shall we go have a look? Let's yeah let's go 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 go. Go this way. Yeah look that cliff over there. Nice blue water. Mm. Probably looking better in the middle of the day. Well, if I'd known we were coming here and we were paying, we would have gone tomorrow, but anyway. It's Where? Not it's not hot. I can't get you now. Because only the, the... Lighthouse keeper. I was going to say, what are they called? A lighthouse keeper. It stays in there and looks after the lighthouse. Coming now. Bye.
And this is 90% of what we do while we're traveling. <laughs> Teach Hudson. Did you film that? Yes, yes I did. <laughs> okay, test your coordination, see if you can watch the camera and walk downstairs. Oh, I don't think so. We're like walking down and everyone's running up in Lycra doing their exercises and we're not doing that. Yeah, I think we're underprepared. Here I am in my thongs and a pair of baldies. Yeah, to it. it's a 2.2k walk. I don't even know where we're walking to, to be honest. Yeah. See where it ends up. Catch up to me. Catch up to you. You're running. Yeah, so this was tomorrow's activity. Whoops. We found it by accident. <laughs> That's okay. Two out of the four done. We just got to do nor the most with Hudson when, he get, when we get around that end again. Yeah, finally get his picture. He got almost there. Yeah. He's just having a great time. Anyway, we're gonna go walk down there. Let's go. Nine, ten. I you come with me. Oh. One, two, two, three, three four, four, five. five walk six, slower. Seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Seven. Ten minutes. Little Ortigo Beach. Oh, it's only. 550 meters back to the lighthouse that way though. Yeah. Stay on. There's a lot of stairs. Yeah, we're over 200 now. Easily over 200. And it's all been downhill, which means I'm gonna have to go back up and I am not fit. <laughs> and there was no sign to say, by the way, you should have like a moderate level of fitness to do this. Yeah. Hudson will sleep well tonight. Yeah, that's a good thing. But like, seriously, like, more stairs. Hudson, oh Jesus, child. Don't climb up there. Oh, anyone else a boy mum and can relate? Oh, always giving you bloody heart attacks. like a walkway and everyone's down there swimming. Temple where we are? Uh, at Byron Bay. What's the place we're camping at called? Uh, Red Devil yeah. Football Grounds or something like that. Red Devil Campgrounds. Campgrounds. Yeah. So we don't know how much it costs because the caretaker is just not there. We tried yesterday and they said, just park wherever, the caretaker will come see you. And so I went back today and asked for the code for the toilet so I could have a shower. And again, the caretaker wasn't there. <laughs> and they said, here's the fob to get in. Um, he'll come and see you. And I was like, yeah, right. And no one's come to see us. So anyway, we'll pay at some point and find out how much it is. Wikicamps is saying it's either $25 per night or $25 per person per night. So I don't know. Either way, it's expensive being in Byron. But the caravan parks were like 80 bucks a night at most of them anyway, so yeah. it's still cheap. Um, but yeah, so we're just parked up here. Hudson's happy because he's got a mound of dirt to play in. We have no neighbours this way. So it's a sports ground, obviously. Yeah. So over here we have the oval. And uh, yeah. So we're just trying to decide whether we stay for the weekend because they have a massive inflatable and obstacle course. Playground. Yeah, so there's a massive inflatable obstacle course called Tough Tough Nutters that gets set up on the weekends. So I'm kind of keen to do that, but I'm not keen to be with all the people. So we'll see. Oh God. Oh, 
do they power the train? Okay, so there's not enough salt on the train to run the train all day. But at the station, there is a battery bank where it charges the train at night when it's not being used. So it is a full electric train that runs off solar, but it's running off the solar bank at the train station. We just did all this talking and it wasn't on record. <laughs> Story of my life, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, welcome back to our travel life where it rains when we're on the road. So it's been almost a week and it's pouring already with no end to the rain in sight. We've got at least another week of rain. It's all the way down the east coast, so there is no escaping it. So it started yesterday. So we've decided to leave Byron and head down to Ballina and go to a caravan park. We were hoping to be self-sufficient for a couple of weeks and just run off the caravan with no caravan parks. But we've since found out that uh, whenever they've hooked up all the stuff to the caravan, when we drive, the car is not charging the batteries in the van. So with the week of rain coming up, we're going to need power basically because we're getting what four amps at the moment in. Yeah, uh, I've seen it up to like 10, but it's, that's still it's not enough. Not going to be enough to charge a van up to full by morning, no, by tonight. No, so we've got a compressor bridge, which I mean, we have 400 amps of lithium, so that's not drama. Um, but we also, you know, this is kind of uh, movie weather, and we're using the Starlink now for our internet, and I'm working for the next few days as well, so we need to use the inverter, and that'll obviously suck some power. Yep. So it is what it is. Anyway. We'll, we'll figure something else out to fix it. Yeah, just all teething issues. It is recording. Alright, so this morning's activities. We uh, got to Ballina yesterday because of the wild weather and you remember us saying that our car won't charge the batteries as we drive. So... We got a reply from Sunseeker about that. They said that the picture we sent through of our battery management system was working fine and they couldn't figure out why it wasn't working, so gave us the number of the manufacturer of that system to call. Yeah. They confirmed that, as we said many times uh, with lithium batteries, you need the DC to DC charger, which we were told repeatedly we didn't need. So anyway, they have come back to us and said in good faith they will pay for the install of a DC to DC charger. So that's good. Um, then last night the rain continued, so we've had what, four days of rain now? Uh, three. Three, three days of rain. And uh, we went out for a walk in the rain. Good idea was to walk in the rain. And we got back and Hudson was on the bed and there was a wet patch and we thought that maybe, because his hair was dripping, that maybe his, you know, he got water on the bed. Um, and then Dion was laying on the bed and he started getting dripped on and the water is leaking through the seal around the caravan. It's still leaking but a bit late now. Yeah, that's all new though, isn't it? Yeah, oh, it's going to be a long night if it's going to be dripping on me all night. Yep. And it was extensive. Um, <laughs> yeah, by the time I got to it, I, I sort of played with where the silicon had a, the silicon had a pinhole in it. Just trim it, okay? I ended up getting my finger in there and just trying to work the silicon and it started running out. It's just enough to actually open the gap there so it actually runs out. And like, yeah. you look at how much is coming out of it. And how much of that is going down the front of this van. Yep. Exactly what we need. Yep. Way more than before. Yeah, it's just it's accumulating with more and more there. Like it is literally running out of the roof. And after that is running into the rest of the van. <laughs> yeah, so that's how much water we've pulled out of it so far. Plus whatever's on the bed. Yeah. Again, and it's already dried once. 
we got what quarter of a cup of water out of it yes. and that's just what was sitting on the lip of the carafan yes so so we're, we're we, concerned we, we don't know how much is actually run down into the van itself yeah so anyway we got as much as we could out we had 40k winds and torrential rain and dion got what we thought was most of the water out and then it started dripping again half an hour later yeah so he had to get up on the roof in that weather to patch it with silicon. he just basically dumped half a tube of silicon up there so i just yeah filled whatever holes i could find with silicon whether they were leaking or not just to see if it stopped the leak and it did we'll see if it's actually helped or not so anyway i tried to call all of the mobile numbers i had for people at sunseeker to see if anyone could help us because we weren't sure what like what do you do when that happens on your couple of week old caravan uh, anyway, I couldn't get onto anyone, so I put a shout out on the owner's page and the warranty lady uh, very kindly sent me a message and she talked us through what we needed to do, which was great. So anyway, she got back to us after Dion had already got on the roof. They did tell us not to get on the roof. I told Dion not to get on the roof, but anyway, <laughs> anyway that one there. So anyway, uh, this morning I actually got woken up with a call at 7 a.m. and she has somehow managed to book us into a caravan repair centre. They're booked out until March, but they've agreed just to have a look and make sure that it, what Dion's done is a good enough temporary fix to get us through, basically. So we're arriving now, so we'll see what they have to say, really. Yeah. Yeah. Good Fun times. times ahead. So thank you to RV Caravan and Repair Centre in Ballina. They came out straight away and had a look. Uh, they commended Dion on the fantastic siliconing job he did at bloody nine o'clock last night in torrential rain and gale force winds and said that uh, they don't think it needs any more silicon. They think it's fixed. We asked him what the chances are that it is super damaged and will get wood rot and mold and things like that and he said you know how long has it been happening for and when we told him you know the van's only a month old it's rained a handful of times and this is the first time we've seen it leaking he said it shouldn't be an issue wood rot and mold and stuff happens over a lot of time and that we've caught it early enough and to run the air on and that'll dry out the insides of the, the walls if there's anything there they don't seem to think it will be an issue. We'll just, oh, keep, well, we'll just keep an eye on it. That's it. That's all we can do is just make sure that nothing else leaks through. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what he said. Just, you know, if it keeps leaking, obviously bring it back. It is raining. Again. <laughs> Again. But I feel I feel better now someone has looked at it and said that it's, it's all right. So I'm glad we brought it in, even though they didn't do anything. But yes, anyway, back to camp now to set up. I'll go back to work. I'll go back to and sitting then, in the van now in the rain. And yeah. I'll go back to work. Back to work. Oh, yeah, back you now. can help set and the van up. Do it like this. <laughs> like this. Hudson has decided that it's now his job to put the caravan legs up and down when we pack up and, and move on and set up. So we help Steel with the drill. Anyway. So we are at Summerland Farms in Alston, Alstonville. Anyway, it's near, it's about half hour out of Ballina. So uh, we're gonna check it out. They've got all sorts of farm animals here. I think they might even have a tractor ride maybe. Sound good? Tractor! Tractor ride! Tractor ride! Okay, tractor right, ride. let's have a look. Yep. How's that? Yeah, good. Good? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> you look a little bit like a turtle. What? <laughs> you look a little bit like a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> it's got all your food in there. No, it has a lot of food in it. You eat a lot of food. Can we eat? Mm hmm. Why is this like water? Because that's how you pump water. Yeah, that's how you pump water when you wanted to drink in the old days. I don't have food. Oh, no. So they've got a little squash pie. And they've got a playground. So it was uh, $5 entry for kids, $3 entry each for adults. 
and we've also signed up to do a little uh, farm animal encounter and it was five dollars per person uh, so that goes for about 15 minutes so that'll be fun Good job, just their backs, okay? What's that one? This is a Kira. <laughs> What's that one? Either one. That one's Buster. Buster. Buster thinks he's a dog. <laughs> he's always hanging out with him. And <laughs> hey, what's that? This one's here. Yeah, okay. Very nice goat, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon? So I can see okay. We're from Queensland and we're not allowed bunnies up there. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hey. water. That's his water, yeah. What do you reckon? So this one's called Elsa. Did you want to have a hold of Elsa? Yeah. Yeah, I can pop her on your legs. Just keep your knees together. And we'll put her there for you. There we go. Good job. Nice and gentle. Well done. She's soft. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse you. No, 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 so no, no. No, thank you. I don't want you eating my pets. No. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Is she nice and soft? Yeah. Excuse you. Why do you want to eat all my clothes for? He's persistent. <laughs> what do you want to do that for? Hey? Okay? You're a nice goat. Look at this goat over here. Look at this black one. Isn't he nice? Wow. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, you can see my good boy. <laughs> How's that? Good. What was your favorite animal? Um, the mole. The mole? Did you have a favourite animal? The mole. The mole? I said I got to yeah. hold a bunny and it was yeah. so soft. Yeah. And it was albino. Yeah. So it had pink eyes yeah. and it was white and fluffy and it gave hugs and I'm wearing a I'm wearing a black shirt and now I'm <laughs> covered in rabbit fur. But that's okay because he was really, really cute. Oh, that's the main thing, wasn't it? It was fun. Hi, can we go back to the um spinny thing? Sure. Well, welcome to another beautiful day in Ballina. It's raining again, so I think we've had maybe two sunny days since we left now. Anyway, um, we're using today to get on top of just household chores, washing, etc., but also to do some caravan maintenance. So when we got our caravan brand new, we actually paid an independent inspector to come and check it before we picked it up. He picked up on quite a few things that got uh, fixed. One thing he did mention though is sealant is a problem across the board with every manufacturer and you may see things popping up on YouTube and Facebook and whatnot at the moment about corrosion in the caravans. Do you want to talk about the corrosion? Oh, this isn't that corrosion just yet. Oh no, just in general about the corrosion people are finding. A lot of, a lot of people are finding that their vans are corroding just because with the H, like there's a H mold here where your alley comes up and your fiberglass or whatever your side rail goes down into and in that top edge there it's just sitting when you go to the beach and whatnot you'll get salt water and salt spray and when it runs it just runs straight down to that H section and just sits there and corrodes. Mm -hmm. like it's not rust but alley still corrodes and it ends up being a white powdery. Yeah it's all like bubbly. Yeah and, and it doesn't look the greatest. So we were talking to a guy about it, uh, the guy that did our inspection on the van. And he said, before you go to a beach, before you're anywhere near the salt water, get some silicon duct tape, top and bottom edge of it. 
and then just smear the silicon on with your finger, basically. Yeah, just to wedge it down into that gap so it doesn't fill with salt. Mm. Yeah. So with ours, like in some places it looked like you could see silicon in that gap and in some places you couldn't. So for us it was just a peace of mind thing. If we've done it, we've sort of mitigated that potential issue as much as possible. Yes. What would it take us? Half an hour? If that? Yeah, probably. We didn't take very long, but um, yeah, just something because we do plan to do a fair bit of beach camping. Yeah. But yeah, so you just do the tape on the top and bottom with what, like a couple of mils in between the tape? Yeah silicon and then just spread it with your finger and then you can just rip the masking tape off and Bob's your uncle it's neat. So make sure you take the tape off before the silicon sets. Yes. Because then you just be peeling it back out of the hole. So normally silicon takes about 24 hours to set so. Yeah so we're gonna rip ours off now yeah? Yeah. And we'll see if we've succeeded. All right so let's try over on a small piece. Are you going to help? I'm going to throw these in the bin. Okay. I'll take you. Right, Ready? Alright. See if it works or if it doesn't work. Woohoohoo! She looks clean! You see how much silicon just gets on herself by the end of this? Now, now. Be nice. Alright, we're off to see Bogey. Bogey hole. Apparently it is a man-made swimming pool that convicts back in the day chiseled out by hand and made into a swimming pool. It does look cool. What are we on? The tractor ride! The tractor ride! Are you excited? Yeah! Yeah? Ready? Let's go! 